Hey YouTube, well, we got another one. So I'm currently down on my uh, Ender 3 S1 Pro. So we're gonna give any cubic, any cubic a chance. This is the any cubic uh, Cobra Plus. So we're gonna look at the, the boxing. We're gonna look at the assembly and what you get and uh, kind of the operation. So it's gonna be a little different than the Creality from what I'm seeing, um, but we'll see. Let's give it a shot. So opening up the packaging. Like usual, looks like there's a lot of uh, decent packaging uh, materials. So you got this nice foam again, just like the Creality. So everything's uh, covered. Oh, look at that, you got the build plate. So this is a little different. Uh, it's not a PEI sheet, it's like a, uh, a glass and a carbonate or some kind of material so it's a little different kind of definitely really sturdy uh, we'll give that a shot well, we found the goodie pocket we got our goodie bag we'll take a look at that and uh, instead of me just sitting here uh, unboxing this thing, I'll get it all out and we'll take a look at what's in the box. All right, we got it unpackaged. Here's the, the base of the unit. And uh, right off the bat, noticing there's no leveling screws because it's an automatic leveler. So we'll see how this works. Uh, looking through, uh, we got our gantry over there. We got our screen. We got our filament holder. We got our micro SD card and a certified uh, that it works card. We got filament, USB, zip ties, grease, uh, clips for the bed, uh, all of our bolts and accessories, extra tip. USB B, I think, so you can plug in directly. We got our instructions, and then we got our utility bag with uh, cutters. It looks like some Allen wrenches, scrapers, some wrenches, power plug, uh, filament, and we got our build plate, right, buddy? So we got our build plate. So that's going to be a little different. I did order a PEI sheet uh, that's going to be coming in a few days, but uh, we'll give that a try and we'll see how it goes. All right, we're going to start assembling this thing and see how uh, how easy it's put, uh, it is to put it together. All right, well, we're getting the gantry up, so I put it sideways. Then we got the uh, two screws here that go underneath and just bolt to the to the gantry. So I raise the, the x-axis up so that it's, uh, so I can play around with it so I can, makes it a little easier to screw it in. But, uh, yeah. All right, I got the gantry up. We tighten, there's two screws on this side that goes underneath. And then two screws on this side goes underneath as well. Uh, now it wants us to put the the bed onto the plate um before i did that uh, i went ahead and i felt all the the rollers to make sure that they were somewhat you know loose but not too tight but not too loose so the that the bed is nice and sturdy and it glides so we don't want too much friction otherwise you'll have premature wear 
on the bearings. Uh, and then the belt looks pretty good. And yeah, we're gonna put this bed on and there's some clips. So we just slide that bed on there. And then there's some clips. Uh, they come in the packaging and we go ahead and we put them around the bed. So, all right, got the gantry up, got the cables uh, secure, built plates and attached. Also switched the power source, uh, 115 from 230 to 115. Uh, got that switched over, filament attached. We got all the cables, I think routed correctly. Uh, just following the instructions. Um, one thing to note is these clips, um, there's a wider base and a skinnier part that goes on the bottom. So that's one thing to note. Highlights that in the instructions. So, But yeah, I'm going to go through and check all the bearings because there's like this one's really, really loose. Same with these ones. So going through, I'm going to tighten them up. Um, make sure all my belt tensions are are good and uh, then we'll start her up All right, so I tightened up all the the bearings the wheels got the, the cables all tightened good connected I think we're ready to uh, whoop, Got some plastic Let's take this guy off Pretty good. I also upgraded my table. I got it off of Amazon. I think it's a 47 inch table. Fits good. Uh, this is the card that they sent with the table. So I'll link it below. So it's all plugged in. Let's go ahead and fire it up. go to prepare then we're gonna go to leveling then we're gonna do auto leveling use a tool to touch the printer nozzle to calibrate leveling sensor so in looking at the instructions it's physically you use a tool on the nozzle so we're gonna Touch it. I don't know if it's working or not. Oh, there you go. I had to put some pressure on it. Okay, now it's homing. All right. So I think once it's based off of the uh, instructions, it's going to home itself and then it's going to do a preheat and print the head and the heated bed. So it's going to go through that process and then it's going to go ahead and do the auto touch. Um, so way different than... Uh, the S1 Pro, so interesting. All right, now that the leveling's done, we're going to go ahead and feed the filament. So we're going to Go to the back. We're gonna go back. The heat's still on, so that's good. And we're gonna go to tools. Then move axis. We're gonna bump up the Z. Oh, that's nice that you can do 0 0.1, 1.0, or 10. So we're gonna go ahead and go up. 
we'll give it a little bit. Two and three. And then we're going to go back. Look at all the options. <laughs> then we're going to go back and go to prepare. And then we're going to say we want filament. And then we're going to say uh, filament in. The print head temperature is too low and the machine is heating up automatically. So it's going to heat up to 230. Ooh. I don't think you can change that. So. Once that's up to temperature, it looks like we can do filament in and go from there. So basically we'll insert the filament through the switch into the uh, tube. And then if the tension's not right, we can dial the, the tension spring, let it feed all the way into the head, and then we should be on our way. them off. Alright, then we're going to hit filament in. And there it goes, it takes it away. You can see the head spinning. Oh, it just stopped. There it goes. You can see the head spinning. It's maintaining temperature. Compared to the direct drive, it's Kind of instant, so this is a little different. Now it's looks pretty smooth to me. So I don't think it's in the instructions. It says if it's not smooth, uh, you can dial the tension in, but that looks pretty good. So we're just gonna let it finish up. And we can hit stop. And we can go back. Um, I want to go and look at the system, the tools, temperature, current bed. I like to keep mine at 65 and then the target down 215. So we're going to adjust that. We're going to go back. It looks like the settings have changed on it. Hopefully you can see that. So it's gonna dial back down. So in the meantime, we're gonna load up the card. So I already prepared uh, some files, but we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, owl. So you take the SD, I believe you gotta put it upside down, load it in, okay. Then we can go ahead and go to print. There are all some of my uh, files there. We're going to go to the owl. Go ahead and hit print.
Maybe we'll run it a little, you know what? We're gonna run it a little cooler because I'm not sure about this printer yet. We'll keep it on Z offset. All right, so I printed a few things with the uh, Anycubic Cobra Plus, and uh, so far, I think it does pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm really impressed with the glass or this the build plate that comes with it. Um, I'm definitely excited to get my PEI sheet that I ordered for it. Um, that I actually went through Anacubic to uh, get that PEI sheet. So that should be arriving in a few days. But um, I did uh, a ship, a ghost ship, a bunchy ghost ship. This thing, I still was playing around with the different axes and Z offset. So, and it's very stringy. Uh, that actually happened to the shark as well that just got done. So very very stringy so i got to play around with the settings but overall the print in place worked out pretty good i did the uh the owl which was a print that was already on the sd card or the micro sd card um this turned out really really good so a little stringy up top of the the ears or the But overall, I think it, it did a decent job. I did uh, do a XYZ cube. I think the quality, not too bad. I got a few boogers in the, uh, gosh, focus. I got a few boogers in the, uh, the letters. It's kind of different. But, uh, and then the bottom, I think I was running it a little too hot. So compared to the um, Creality printer, it runs pretty on, on target to the temp. So yeah, I think I just got to play around with the settings. And this is definitely going to be a good a good uh, printer. And I, I would definitely recommend this. It's got a nice build volume. Um, I believe 300 by 300 by 350. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. <laughs> 